The story begins when I was in my childhood memories. Hi, my name is Sean Lok. I am a shy and quiet person. I am going to share with you all my stories. This is Sean Wei. He is so smart that he scores so many A's and he is very full of pride at the same time. I was running my way to candy because I was very late for lunch. Oh. It was the first time I met him. Uh, you okay? You look so familiar. Hey, brother, are you okay or not? No, this is Sean there. He is funny, entertaining, caring, and damn averagely normal. Just now, I saw you fell very painful. Hey, yeah, but... Are you Sean? Yes, I am Sean. You're Sean? My name is Sean too. Hey, I'm Sean Tree. Hey, it's nice to meet you today. It was at the moment. Maybe we should be all friends, right? I was really too shy to make new friends who have the same name as me. So I had no choice but to walk away. A few hours later, I was waiting for my bus. Psst. I hear voices coming from a tree. I went to check it out, but there was nothing there. Shh. And I heard again the same sound. It is like it's coming from Shh. there. I went to look for it. But there is nothing at all until I saw them. <laughs> From there, we become friends. Day after days. We become closer to each other. Great time with each other. We also play with erasers sometimes. Well, it was really fun. Until this happens. Who chose this rubber? Sean? Yes? I call in the O1. Oh, that's me. Okay, okay. Coming up. Uh, sir, actually, you're wrong already. La. My name is Prince Chong. I don't care. Go back. We will still hang out after our class. Every evening, we will play basketball together without any fails. Though it was very tiring and thirsty after playing so many rounds. No doubt, we didn't score any goals, but we are still having fun together. until we make a promise from that very moment. This is fun, guys. Well, do you know what? We should be friends, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, come, let's make a promise, shall we? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Few days later, This happens to be the most unsatisfying moment. 
I have never ever scored that bad on my results. This is unacceptable. Until I overheard people mocking my low marks and on the other tables. I saw my friends were happy about their marks. But for me, I can't accept this. It was the saddest moment of my life. My teacher complained to my parents and I had to get scolded by them for not passing my exam. But I still have to accept this fate. And from that time, I determined that I will focus on my study and no more distraction for me. From that day onwards, when I was studying, I saw them. I ignore them and just continue with my studies. Besides, I think that it's best for me to focus on my studies and make my parents proud. I just continue my study from the day after the next day. Despite people still thinking about me, I just have to ignore them without complaining to the teachers about my problem. I start working hard every day so that I score with flying colors and change how people look at me as a low mark. On that every day, when I wanted to visit the library, I was over here with them laughing about me. This is unacceptable. So I walk away from them. When I graduate, I decide to take my future, never look back ever again. Eight years later, I finally figure out that I have missed something. But I was interrupted by my boss asking for urgent work. Sometimes when I was working, my computer always laggy, and the Wi-Fi was very poor. When I was working, sometimes I even get interrupted by my boss again through phone calling me, asking when can the work done, and the work is isn't easy. Life is just unfair. So frustrated, and sometimes client will even call you for the budget. Sometimes client are very insisting and want me lower the price. Sometimes boss will blame me for lower price for clients. It wasn't an easy task for me to settle this. Sometimes I even think to quit the job. During the break time, I just figure out what I forgot. I had friends. When I search with my friend phone, I find it, find it, and find it. Finally, I found them through Facebook. I can't wait to meet them on Google Meet. Finally. Plan to me. It was the moment after eight years that I could meet my old buddies.
Hey bro, long time no see. Yeah, how's your life, guys? I'm doing great. How about you? Yeah, okay, yeah, lor. You know, it's good you finally show up after so long. Yeah, it's been so long ever. When I study hard, I almost forgot you guys keep often hang out with me long time ago, and my now working life is very very tough now. Yeah. Hmm. I see. So, when you guys free, maybe we could hang out for the cinema to watch the new Spider-Man since this is our child movie, right? Yeah, sure. Why not? We can hang out just like the old days. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Oh, sorry. Uh, I have a call for my boss now. So I see you guys in the Kamta Cinema, right? At eight o'clock tomorrow, right? Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Right. Hey? hey bro, do you realize there is something wrong with him? What? Like why should we hang out with this allow? Like he is something wrong. Like friend with Earth, then later no friend with Earth. He's not really not okay lah. You know why not we just go to the karaoke and meet up just two of us? Uh what about Alo? Just meet at the karaoke lah at two at eight AM. Nobody cares about him, okay? Uh, okay. Finally, it is the day. It was my happiest moment to finally make up with them in the cinema. It's been so long. Well, I think it's the end of our friendship. Few days later, I think again that last time, I shouldn't have neglected them because we are so close. And when we break out like this, it's really very depressing. When I finally realized that having childhood friends is also important in our life, it was at the moment I received a terrible news. Another few days later, I was confronted by Ate. We say that he's just so sorry for that day. They then showed up and not telling me that it was our plans and he had passed away by a tragic accident during that night. Ate couldn't even save him because he was drunk. I feel so bad about it. He called me out to visit our grave, so I decided to follow. But I want him to remember something. Even though we have been apart of four years, we will still be friends forever. That brings us back to youth. Alright, so that's the end of the story. How do you guys feel about the storyline? Wow, it sounds so difficult. No, thank you. Uh. No, thank you. How's the cameraman?